friends and family, it's Jade from the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum in Escondido, and it is our Architecture Month. So this month we've been talking about human architecture so far. Humans build things like skyscrapers and schools and theme parks. Well, humans aren't the only architects. We also have animal architects in nature. Beavers build dams, birds build bird nests, and you guessed it, bees build beehives. So I'm hoping that today you can help me build my beehive for a special art project. Are you ready? Let's go. Before we start our art project, I want to learn a little bit more about how bees make their beehives. So all kinds of bees live in the hive. There are worker bees, there are drones, and there's a queen bee. You can see the honeycomb, the different cells for workers and drones. And you can even see here the pollen and nectar that the workers harvest. Honeybees and bumblebees live in colonies in a bee's nest or hive. I'm making all the cells inside the beehive. The beehive is made out of wax and is used for shelter and a place to store the honey. Bees need storage units to keep the growing bees, nectar, and honey, so the bees use math to create special shapes. Can you count how many sides there are on these cells? Six. The honeycombs are made out of hexagons. The storage units have all different purposes, so I'm going to paint them different colors. I'm painting the ones at the top of the hive yellow because this is where they store the honey. Bees use these honey jars to store the honey to last them through the winter when they can't get any more nectar. Under the honey cells is where the bees keep the nectar. They collect nectar from plants and flowers to make their honey. The color of the nectar depends on the type of flower the bees collected it from. This beehive has orange nectar. The cells under the nectar are where the bees are being raised. This is the brood. The queen bee lays eggs and then worker bees feed and take care of them. And finally, at the bottom are white cells, and this is where the queen bee's cells are. She is very important, and the colony cannot survive without her. Now I have a beehive to live in. This is where the queen cells are. This is where she lays her eggs. This is where all of the nectar is stored and then it turns into honey. Wow, I couldn't have done that without you. Now that I have my beehive, I'm gonna go pollinate some flowers and make some honey. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you liked this project and you would like to do more, you can visit us on our Facebook or Instagram. And we would love it if you could share with us or just come visit us at the museum. Till next time.